got a special guest visitor coming today. My wife is like, oh, we need to get the house ready. And I was like, no, I need to get the lawn ready. That's the most important thing when we have a visitor, especially this visitor today, which you're gonna find out. And of course, it's 2019, so you could just fast forward ahead in the video and figure out who it is. But that wouldn't be any fun now, would it? Now I've got growth regulator going back on to the front here and the side yard and I'm using about 0.4 ounces per thousand this time. The last time I believe the combination that was a little bit too much was about 0.4 but I was also using propiconazole at that point and that also has a little bit of effect on growth too. I definitely love that look of regulated grass and once you get short grass and you start using a regulator you will notice the difference quite a bit. It looks a lot more full and it just has a certain flat look to it when you're done cutting it compared to when it's not regulated. The density gets a little bit better and it seems to just be a much more tight look on there, especially on the bluegrass side. And we're gonna get to, to the ryegrass front here in just a second and see how that looks after we're done. But that one also gets a tighter look to it as well when you're on regulation. So with the backyard, I'm actually pretty excited for fall to get here soon. The reason being is that every time around this time of year when I let my bluegrass get a little bit taller during the summer, it just starts to have a real messy look to it. And even when it's cut um, without any striping kit on there to roll anything over, but even with the suction of the mower, it just does not really look that great during this time of year. The color is holding on right now. You can tell it definitely would like to have some fertilizer, so I might get it a little shot of a small dose of liquid or something soon, but other than that, it just has that kind of tall, messy look to it. Some of you really like the tall grass, and that's totally cool for me. I like to be able to walk across it and kind of still has a clean look to it. My dogs absolutely hate the backyard. They walk around in the front all over the place and they have no problem but they do not like walking in this tall grass. This year I vowed I was going to keep it a little bit shorter but I was gone on one trip at one point and things got a little out of control with growth during that time so it ended up getting really tall. I had to make a decision at that point if I wanted to chop it down and kind of stress it out but we were in a heat wave and I didn't want to do that so it got taller and next year I'm going to do my best to try to keep it a little bit shorter, maybe around two and a half inches at the highest that it would go. So it's just gonna take consistency and not letting it get out of control during the springtime. That's gonna be mowing probably, even on this, every other day or so. And so um, that's my plan, but we'll see how it works out. Here's a good example of what I'm talking about when I'm saying that it's messy. So here's where the wheels, you can tell the wheels push this over like that. And it's not able to stand itself really back up. So what happens is, if you really pull this out of there, we get a bunch of stuff that's missed. And also down in here, you can tell because it's laying on itself so much, it is overly wet and kind of like about to be fungusy. So that's what I don't like about it and why it needs to be cut shorter. 
Now, who could this be? <laughs> it's a car that actually fits you. It does. It's huge. They're huge cars. Look who it is. Hello. I heard somebody needed some help. Clearly not you. Oh, that's nice. Very pretty. You're still, you're cutting this with the Swordman? Swordman? I am. Swordman? It's beautiful. Did you cut today? Yesterday? Today. Yep. Pretty. So yeah, that's the old ryegrass. It's nice and toasty grass. Tomatoes, 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 peppers, jalapenos. Yep. Yep. A bunch of jalapenos. I'm just gonna walk over this fence. Yeah, come on in. It's really tough for you guys. <laughs> I know. I have to work a little harder at that than you do, probably. No. Problem. Well, it. <laughs> Where's the garden? <laughs> Yeah, because I, I came out one day and Bry's like, Hells? And I'm like, I'm here. I'm down here. I'd be like, there's no tomatoes this year. <laughs> oh, man. So how often do you cut the front? Every other day. Is that what you want to do back here, too? I, yeah. You don't mind? I don't mind. Because that's what you would have to do. Then this would all, the stalks would not cast and get yellow yeah so you could keep it low and it won't feel like this it won't it won't have this you know you think it's thick but if you cut it down I don't think it's gonna matter but you, you just have to take it down slow unless you want to yeah. yeah you could take an inch out of it easy right now but you'll have to go back and forth across it because it's mm -hmm. it's used to that branching height for your branching height uh -huh. and that's gonna change it'll get down lower so just when you cut it off, you're gonna take probably a third of the thickness right out. Yep. It's, it's almost, in my opinion, like too thick, if that's such a thing. This is what my grass looks like when I let it grow. Yeah. It's just thick. Well, isn't that, why is that a problem? It's not a problem. But, it just sort of mats down and... Yeah. yeah. But you that's can't the only way you really keep weeds out. You can't walk on it, though, that well. But you're not really keeping weeds no. out. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Wait a tick! <laughs> like out in here, you can tell that it, it there's blue in there just because of that density. Yes. Like you can yes. see the thickness of it. That is that's how my lawn is. Yep. And it, it is just it's so tight. Yeah, I think I think you could get your backyard in there. Get rid of that guy. He's tiny. I don't want to see him. Yep. We won't show anyone that. Don't show anybody. I mean, I know that if I if I was cutting with a mower like yours, just that it's it's just a different it's different. I don't yeah. know why it's different. I mean, maybe it's just because it lays it over the rollers. That's that, what I was going to say. Yeah, really, it does. It it gives it a much flatter look with the rollers. Yeah. But yeah, I like this. That's nice. The mix. It works pretty well. Yeah, it's a good look. In there, I'm just gonna fix your soil real quick. Mm -hmm. There we go, that one can go there. Oh, I found another one right here, I'll put that in there. Yep. It's not gonna be, I don't think, too. The majority is probably gonna be pretty short. Well, that, so it's it's rye grass, so it's not gonna bunch the root quite as much as like your bluegrass would. It's gonna send it a little different, but that I was kind of wondering about that area mm -hmm. here since yeah. the bulk of what you feed the plant when you fertilize is picked up in here. Mm -hmm. And then this is like water transport more than anything, especially in soil like yours, because it, it's not gonna have to, it's not gonna drain no. fast. Soil like this in general will take a lot more, like more punishment, really. I and mean, you can really load it up. 
give it a whatever you want to because it takes a long time to break through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know the the biggest problem with clay soil is when it dries. Yeah. That's the, that's when it's your worst enemy. So if you're uh, if you're able to keep clay moist, it'll always take in more water. Yeah. But to break that yeah. barrier in the beginning, it's pretty complicated. Yeah. So big thank you to John Perry for stopping by my house, checking out the lawn, and just having an overall fun time here on the podcast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.